So we're gonna add. It'll help melt it all together. Right, and make it more sauce-like instead of more too thick. Yeah. That's very thick at first and very hard, but it does break up. There you go. Use your whisk. First, head. it looks kind of weird, but then it starts to all dissolve together. Come pretty smooth. And becomes smoother. There you go. And as you described, it does, Kathy. <laughs> it does smoother. come together. How's the broccoli doing? Broccoli's doing great. Browned. Yeah. This is an unusual dish, isn't it? Well, it's unusual to some people. It's unusual to some people because it's a little different with the, uh, you know, the tofu and everything in that. But I think it's expanding new ground for everyone. Okay. Isn't it? Do you want to taste that and see if it needs more of something? Maybe more soy sauce or... Okay. Can I do this? Yes. You know what would be good? It's some... Uh, Actually, it's really good. Cayenne pepper. Okay. Just a little bit. That'll get it a little zip. Spicy. I... Along with the garlic. Now the other thing is, since this is thin enough, we can probably add this now because the peanut butter and the tahini will also, from the heat of the pan, break up, won't it? Mm-hmm. Just pour it over and toss to coat it. Woo! I know what you're having for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm going to toss this to coat. And when we come back, what are we going to make next with our friend tofu today. We're going to make another stir fry. Ooh, excellent. Stir frying some tofu today on How to Boil Water. Don't go away. We'll be right back. It's a fun show. New stuff. New items. Breaking new ground. <laughs> Sean Dedell and Kathy Culinary Guru. Hey. Today we're working with tofu. Guru, tofu. <laughs> First we made a, I guess it, that was a stir fry basically. Mm -hmm. uh, tofu and broccoli and we put it in a peanut butter, tahini, soy, and oh, ooh, not a light dish but a delicious one. Tasty. That's one thing to talk about too, people don't realize too. They think they're, well I'm eating tofu, it's just tofu. But tofu does have fat in it. Yes. It's a different kind of fat than beef. It's not a, you know, a saturated fat, but it does add fat. But there are tofus that are like 90% fat free, That's which correct. you can also look for if you're concerned about your old waistline. waistline. So the first thing we're going to do with this stir fry is we have some white onions oh. and we're going to put a little oil in the pan. Almost heat, caught me there, huh? Heat that pan up. What happened up. to this pan, Kathy? Uh, this little uh, divot. <laughs> thing here, something... Uh, Something pop that pan. Uh, it still works. I know it still works. I was just wondering if anyone was harmed. It was damaged when you moved into this apartment. <laughs> That's what happens when you have your buddies move you. That's right. All right, so we have those going. And the next thing we're going to add is some garlic and some ginger. I'm going to add this in now, and then okay. I'll, I'll, I'll discuss the ginger. Just ginger. minced up ginger and garlic. Add nice, lots of flavor. Tons of flavor. Okay. There we go. Now here is your ginger. The cold hand of ginger. We've talked about that on the show before because it comes out with these kind of weird fingers. What you do is you break a piece off like that. Then you can peel it. There's many different things. You can get like uh, shavings Vegetable. of ginger, right. and all kinds of stuff. But this is, here's a piece that's peeled. And then you just kind of dice it up like anything else, right? That's right. And it's best to, uh, if you're going to eat it, and sometimes you can just put a big chunk in something to flavor it. Right. But if you're going to eat it, it's best to chop it up like you would garlic. Right, because when you get a big piece of spicy ginger, hot. just like if you got a big piece of garlic or anything else, you'd be like, whoa, hello, what was that? That was not a mild flavor. Look at those knife skills. I'm so impressed. I'm growing, aren't I? Yes, you are. Very good. Soon, I'll, one day, maybe I can be like Moise in the kitchen. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, well. Well, probably Moise not. Moise has got a good 10 years under his belt, <laughs> at least. So, keep working. That's pretty good. That looks great. 
and I could get it even smaller mm -hmm. just by working it. I'll put a little bit of mine in. Yeah. I don't want to put too much because we don't want to overload it with ginger. We'll stir that around. Next thing we're going to add is carrots. We're going to add carrots to the mix because our carrots need a little more time to cook. Mm -hmm. and we're going to get these in and we're going to actually put the lid on to help them steam. And clean off the knife. ginger everywhere. There you go. <laughs> Why do you do that? Just because Just because should. it was bothering me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can we cut this on an angle? Yeah, a little bit more of an angle. Can you do it? Just, yeah, there you go. That looks good. Now, you're cutting them thinly, which is great. Now, why are you doing that? So they don't take as long to cook. That's right. See these pieces here? These pieces have actually been cut in half after that. <laughs> Those you know, the kitchen's really always playing with me. Long there. <laughs> Who is that? I, I want to know. Wait, they're, they're, they're pulling this on me? Yes. Yeah, that's how they cut it. And they <laughs> really did it on the diagonal. <laughs> this is like not even the diagonal. I don't even know. What, there you go. Yeah. Don't them show me up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to add that in. I like this when we add stuff to the pan and we just run around and, and it sizzles. What were you going to say? Nothing? Nothing. Get that coated. Things want to shoot out this little divot here. Keep wanting to run. It's actually good if you want it's to pour a, a sauce hole. out though. You can yeah, just... exactly. <laughs> and speaking of steam hole, we're going to add the lid, which is going to help steam those carrots and help them cook so they're not too tough. That's right. Now, we will cut up our tofu. Do we need to add the corn? No, you can cut up the tofu. Cut up the tofu. Should we cut it differently this time? You can cut it any old way you like. How about any new way Creative. I like? Creative. Sure. Uh, Be careful. creative. Do, 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 do. It's such a great texture, isn't it? Yes. It's wonderfully wonderful. There you go. It's like sticking. <laughs> with no, the this group. is firm you tofu see the way? again. Yes. Do you see the way it's like falling over? Yes. Show you what we're, I'll show you what I'm after, though. All right. Stacking. Stacking. This is really cool. Like building blocks. Yep. The building blocks of life. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Use all of it? Mm-hmm. So do you eat to tofu a lot? I do from time to time. It's a nice thing to mix up. I uh, like to see it. Uh, you see it a lot in other, many different foods use it. Mm -hmm. See so a lot of the health food stores, of course, it's incorporated a lot. There Sometimes the, the, the beef doesn't sit well with me. Beef? So I try to come up with options. Doesn't sit well around the waist. <laughs> well, no, I mean even aside from that, digestibility wise. I got it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Ain't gonna stop me, that's what Kathy's saying. Here we go. That's good. I don't think you need I don't think we need yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of tofu. Now how much tofu is that by weight? Is that like a pound? That's a half a pound. Half pound. Yeah. I mean, like the whole container. Oh, the whole container is a pound. You're right. If these break up in the middle, that's okay. It's okay? You digging that? I don't know if I'm digging it. You know, I cut them in a certain shape for a reason, but... Now, you want to toss to coat them with the oil, because that oil is what has the ginger flavor. Right, and the garlic. Garlic. And the onion. And the onion. They're tossed. They're coated. Now, we should add the corn. Yes. Now these are baby corn that we got from a can that aren't really corn. They're cute though, aren't they? Yes. They're Asian. Which is Thanks. good for a stir fry. And they don't really need to cook though, they just need to yeah. heat through. Just going to add a little salt and pepper. Okay. Just salt, add a little black pepper. And I'd cover that back up again. Yep, I'm just going to stir our little salt and pepper around. Good. Throw that back up, help everything steam, and now we're going to create our sauce. Yes. Yes. So right here we have some cornstarch. Which is a going little ball. to... Help it thicken. Right. It's going to make like a gravy almost. Yeah. I'm going to add some soy sauce to it. There you go. That Should I whisk that around now? Sure. Get those lumps out. I'm going to get rid of the lumps. So as the cornstarch heats up, it'll help thicken the liquid, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it need water? Yep, I think so. A little bit of water? A splash of water. Mm -hmm. There you go. A splash of water. It smells good. Yeah. We add in some white rice vinegar. A splash of that. 
That's such a nice vinegar. It's kind of got a sweet flavor to it. It's very mild, but very mild. it's still very vinegary. Yes. Well, it adds And vinegar. a little bit of honey. Is yeah. it good? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Twist that together because we've got to get that honey worked in. Okay. Good. Got it? Got it. Get it all. It's a little bit on the edge there. Got to okay. get that. And we're going to add this in. Yep. Now you might Woo! want to add what? more soy sauce after you've added it in. You'll be able to tell whether or not you need more liquid. I think we do. Just because we got we a do? lot of big stuff in there. Okay, go for it. This is kind of guess, you know. Use your own best judgment. It's a sauce. It's a sauce. Just like we've always told them. Be creative. And the last thing we're going to add to get a little sp more spice in there is a little bit of red pepper flakes. There you go. Going to mix that in. Get it all working together. Ah, it's starting to thicken already. And when we come back, you will see this glorious stir fry and our other stir fry that we've made today with tofu and how to boil water. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Is it thickening? Yep. Very much so. It smells wonderful. Yeah. Welcome back to How to Boil Water, and today we have made two wonderful stir fries using our good old friend tofu, and check them out. Here's the first one that we made using the tofu with some steamed broccoli. We have raisins and peanuts in a peanut tahini sauce. Put it on some brown rice, very nice. And right in front of me here right now is our stir fry that we used using the tofu, some carrots, some baby corn. We're going to top this off with a little scallion to add some color balance that out. Now these are very quick and very easy to make and very good for you too. So all you have to do to get the recipe is send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. Make sure you include the show number that you saw so that way we know which one to send you and we'll send that right back out to you and any other mail you want to send us that's great as well. We'd love to get it. As for now I'm out of time. Thanks for joining us here and I'm going to enjoy a little stir fry. Bye bye. Celebrate the flavors and ingredients that make summer worth the wait with Food Network's magical midsummer feast. Saturday afternoon, starting at 1 Eastern, only on Food Network. Full of flavor. <laughs>